I heard that someone What's was the name of the Elven King. Uh, Elrond. Elrond. Yeah, that could be Paul. He's got like the facial features. Sometimes it's sometimes it's Celebor or whatever. Uh, this is like Elrond. Oh yeah, Celebrimbor. Uh, the other the other one. Um, he's like Lyle Rills. Oh, I don't know guy. his name. Yeah, it starts with a guy. guy. Yeah, he's not important. Like he doesn't do anything in the Lord of the Rings. So he does some stuff in the Silmarillion, I think. But <laughs> I heard. Oh, Tim goes to seventeen, and Patrick's at nineteen. That makes more sense. Just got quality settings. That's great. Nice. That, that means we have a lot of people watching us, and we actually do. So thank you guys, everyone who's come out. We play mm-hmm. Magic pretty much every Sunday. I, I, mm-hmm. I think they like the Mona. Yeah, I think they, they do too. Just, like Grishel Brad. And we no, just talk about Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tim doesn't. Tim, Tim's, Tim's not Gandalf. He's, All right, let's yeah, see this Bob trigger. He, no. he takes none. No. Jeff, is Gandalf. Jeff is Gandalf. He only shows up once in a while. Clarity GTTV, thank you so much for hosting our stream. We really appreciate it. Eric also would be Gollum probably. He's coming in for five. Thank you so much for having the Tarma dice on there, Patrick. <laughs> uh, booty hole patrol one. Love the name. Thank you so much for following. <laughs> Welcome to the goddamn table. It's a ravaging ravine or raging ravine. Raging ravine. I was close. Ra- I was yeah, just a ravishing, ravine. a ravishing, ravishing ravine. ravine. You gotta get him, get him custom. Just yeah. like... It's the other rocks, just like long yeah, floors. <laughs> he's thoughts he's in. He's gonna take that Borborygmos. Yeah, yeah. I guess the. Yeah, he's got the through the breach, right? Those are kind of redundant. He doesn't have lines to cast them. Either. Yeah, I know. But that's why you, you would pick one because he, because he'll still have one. Yep. Snow. Go ahead, go ahead. I remember way back when I started first started playing John. <laughs> Bedhead TV, thank you so much for the follow. Like extended. Welcome to the goddamn table. I sat down with uh, what's his face. You know, I was borrowing a Legacy Gem deck. That's what it was. Um, it's that guy from U of A. You just always get really mad when he lost. Blame not you. Yeah. It sat is. Down and we, he just talked to me for like forty five minutes about how the thoughts he's yeah. people correctly. Uh, uh, and, there is no answer. So game time is correct. It's it's Borg Marigmos in, enraged because there was that moment when the person named Borg yes, Marigmos yes. and then it was just like, actually. No, I, I fully support that because he could add like anything onto that. There's so yeah, many different like, ways he could. The angry one. The one yeah. that discards lands for damage. Yeah, that the one that we one. saw earlier. Yeah. The new the one. one. Uh, like, the most with a title. The eight costed <laughs> one. Yeah. Like any, a- any further description would have got him there. Except for the board, board you from Guild Pack, that would have Except for the board, well, I mean, like, yeah, if you, <laughs> if you describe it as the one you didn't need, yeah, Tim's just Tim gonna scoop it up. and die. Off to game three. You know, this is a surprisingly uh, thoughtful matchup between the Jun player and the Grishel Brand. It's a lot more interactive than it, or a lot more to consider than it seems. Slaughter Games, Patrick is swapping. Slaughter Games is not as good against Grishel Brand as you might think. Still very strong. It is good, but not like game over, you can't win good. Yep. I'm mean, like, so, you get to see their hand and like both like two through the reaches from it, that's really good. Uh, so Tim is saying on the play, he actually takes out the Inquisitions and brings back in um, the Is a Charm and the Faithless Looting. That's fair. Yeah. Which is nice. I actually like that he was uh, he's explaining much less that. vulnerable to like. Discard spell, untap, discard spell. Yeah. Uh, Boromir is an asshole and Aragorn is a hero. Legolas and Gimli are the allies who stand with Aragorn and Rohan. What was the other kingdom where he was raided and returned to king? Boromir. Uh, Gondor? Yeah. Gondor. Yeah. <clears throat> Gondor, yeah. I mean, like, Bor- Boromir was, was a hero, too. Just yeah. in a different way. Man, Boromir's like, story was like... In a dead way. I expected more people to die. You know? And just Boromir died. I was like, man... Sucks to be Boromir. The only member of the Fellowship who just fucking... Well, that's like the only reason he was in the story, right? It was to die to overcome his personal failings. Yeah. He was actually mm-hmm. one of the better characters overall. I agree. I agree. Like, compared to Boromir, Gimli and Legolas are both pretty lit. Even Aragorn's a little bit. Yeah, he's a bit too, he's a bit too, like, perfect. He's like, I'm good at everything. Yeah. Boromir's father can't eat tomatoes. He eats them like an idiot. Uh, <laughs> he's, eating them, he's eating the tomatoes off of a pewter plate and drinking from a pewter cup. We'll end up giving him lead poisoning. That's fine. And explain why he's quite so crazy. Tim goes to 19 from his uh, s- s- demons. Well, he, he eats it, or it's mad as I can eat. It's like I, I ingest way too much lead. <laughs> this is a lot of lead. <laughs> it's, it's going to kill me. Carbon and lead, I don't really want to eat them. 
<laughs> so it looks like, yeah, he's rubbing out a serum visions. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how you eat tomatoes, Rob. You're just supposed to, like, bite them. No, he's right. You got control the juices. I eat tomatoes like that somehow. You gotta, like, bite and, like, suck a little bit to make sure all the juices make their way about. Yeah, but I've also seen you eat a kiwi by biting into the side of it. Yeah, that's a similar so. way. The, the texture's a little bit off with the kiwi, <laughs> but, like, you get this nice, like, sour tinge to it. And I, I feel like it really enhances that's, the kiwi's um, natural flavor. I, I, I agree with you on that's that. That's what I've heard! Yeah, Actually, tomatoes yeah. Are, uh, tomatoes are pretty bad uh, when they're raw. When they're cooked, I think they're really... Yeah, when they're cooked, you don't really taste it. You just they're taste good, they're acidic they have, tanginess. Yeah. Right? But uh, when, when they're raw, I don't... I, don't I can see why some of this raw tomatoes. tomatoes. It bugs my tongue a little bit. It's yeah, just not, so acidic, but... Um, my least favorite food along with is... I think it goes down to 16. Uh, my least favorite food is <laughs> celery, which makes sense because celery is just stick water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's really yeah. good if you compulsively snack and you're trying to lose weight. Yeah, it's I actually. Think, uh, I think that scene might have been better if Boromir's father was eating a baby. Yeah. So uh, it looks like. Uh, it like this is a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> just, just eat it. So that uh. uh just, just, <laughs> just do it. That scavenging nudes actually represents a pretty good thing against Grishelman. Yeah, that's right? one of the many ways that uh, Patrick has to put pressure onto Tim. It's one of the cards out of Patrick's deck that Tim doesn't. Uh, Really enjoy seeing, to be honest. He would very much prefer that be a uh, convoy or dark column. No. Because uh, Grishelbrand, from what it looks like, it really just um, just uh, wants to do its own thing. Yeah. Right. And what you did, he went out yeah. one turn two there. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Between Patrick did wake up, just Tim managed to draw into the Goryos, which is unfortunate, but. They're coming in. God damn. My hair's on this. I couldn't stop cancer. You failed me for the last time. <laughs> so uh, if we want to do one more modern, we can do one more tiny one. Sure. Yeah. What do we want to do? Not me. Who has what here? <laughs> we have affinity. We have affinity and Jund. Playing elves against. I have other Jund. No, no, I'm not. I'm that's, not playing. Like, so I don't need to play again because I can guarantee everybody was like, that's a stupid. No, no, no. They're actually there. No, oh, that's that's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> and there are actually people uh, posting their variation yep. of uh, Grizzle Show oh, as well. Cool. No, yeah. it was it's uh, we have a good chunk yeah, of viewers. Thank you guys, everyone who's come out. Four for Andy Jar. So why don't um, we? Travis can play Young against Brain Elves. I have Jung. I have Titan Shift. I have Titan Shift versus Elves is an actual interesting match. Garbage matter. like. You can go play something that will be interesting on camera. Titan Shift against uh, Elves. I mean, is an like, interesting matchup. I have Elves. Titan shift play against elves. Against against you can go play, play and do something interesting. interesting. Yeah, that's true. Go, I, I don't mind. I I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying enjoy commenting on modern. Oh, modern. Uh, I'll take uh, the bring one. Oh, that's that's right. Right. Uh, Patrick, I mean, you don't need those. You can feel the hear you. Hey, Tim, why don't you sit next to me? Huh? Why don't you sit next to me? Oh, I'm I'm gonna gonna sit I have a pocket. Perfect. Hey, so really like, don't touch my deck or whatever. Yes. Alright, so as we're talking, I'm just going to get it all set up. So. It's elves and which? Uh, he'll be Titan playing Shift. Titan Shift. Cool. Which is a scape shift Just wait variant. To see what side everybody's sitting on. Oh my god, new guy. This is Tim. Oh hey. He was the guy who's just piloting Rishul Brand. Terribly. Rishul which Brand. I'm just gonna say, I, it seems pretty fun to play. Oh man. It seems very fun to play. It's it's one of those decks where when you play it, um, you it's everything you do. Like I'm thinking, and I don't care what my opponent's doing really. So it's. It's one of the decks where it takes all the skill from you and like none of your opponent. Your I opponent could be the best, and you could just have it. That's yeah. what I was saying. That it just seems like well, you that last game crap what your opponent's doing. You just you're doing your own thing. Like you're not even running like removal. You're just like I'm gonna draw cards until I win. Yeah. the The last turn, the last game there, he won off my cut. Yeah. Like the debt cut yeah. off the fetch land. Yeah. I I told him to seal his fate. He did. And, and I chose poorly. He chose poorly because I drew a Grizzle Brand. Uh, I'm 6'3, by the way. Yeah, we, we've been uh, naming everybody from Lord of the Rings, and yours is Boromir. Oh. Yeah. Says who? <laughs> Says all of us. We all agree. Yeah. I, I, like, I like going down in a hail of arrows like a hero. Like, that sounds really appealing. I, I, I look, yeah. I was Bryn touching my deck. 
Yes. Oh, he's boxing it, isn't he? Oh, probably. Oh, <laughs> fuck. So which which is who's on which side? Uh, they haven't sat down yet, but don't worry, they can they only see us right now. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did not bring Titan Shift as I forgot that, so I'll be playing my gift stuff. Did he, yes. did he box it? He should have boxed it a lot. Yes, yes, he boxed it very. <laughs> he boxed it inside and out. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. So, cool. so Brynn likes doing this thing. Give, give it, give it up. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it off. Um, there's cards that are right side up and upside down. Upside down, backwards. Wrong word, wrong ways, backwards, and then also upside down, backwards. So. Amazing. Have fun with that. Right. Christ. And actually, it was Travis who did it, and he said, I wouldn't have done anything if you haven't said it. So Travis is, uh, is Gifts? Yeah. Just Gifts? Esper Gifts? Yeah, he's probably playing, like, uh, Esper Gifts with uh, Sword. It's and, probably just, like, Sword. Oh, yeah, he's playing Thopter Sword. Yeah, because... And Burn his Elves. Yeah. Coco Elves. Co you want to put Coco Elves? Coco Elves! Look at that. He even capitalized the second C. Like, uh, right? So this is a this is going to come down to... It's not going to be, like, long games. Apparently. This is, This is... Well, no... Um, Bryn is, has to end this as fast as he can because Travis is just trying to gum up the board with 1-1 one, one Thopters and just gain life. But that said, usually when Bryn, or um, when Travis goes off with the, or no, when Bryn goes off with the Elves, excuse me, they usually have Trample from um, Izuri, Renegade Leader. So the 1-1 one, one Thopters usually don't matter in, in, in the wash. Also interesting note, uh, I don't know if Bryn plays it, but in the Elf matchup here, a lot of the a lot of the players will play Shaman of the Pack. And flipping over multiple Shaman of the Packs to Cocos or just like having one and then courting into another one is a very good way to take people from like 20 to zero. Uh, I just know from the fact that Bryn's version does not play Shaman. Oh, okay. He, he plays a, a green-white build and he plays a mirror entity. And mm -hmm. um, and um, what's that a Lorwyn uh, uh, pro red sack to prevent a red source? Burnt and Forge Tender. He plays Forge Tender and uh, yeah, Mirror Entity as his white splash. I guess I guess that's fair. Like, there's a lot of uh, additional sideboard hate that you probably want. He he also started until I stopped playing Affinity at the store. I finally uh, beat him consistently enough playing Affinity that he put two Katakis in the sideboard. But then I stopped playing Affinity. <laughs> so. Um, Chad asks, Justin, what's your favorite channels or Instagram card? I currently actually have no idea. So I'm just gonna say Elusive Tormentor because it always wins. It like always wins. Are we talking in the context of limited or a, as constructed? Oh, and my or... favorite, my favorite art is Pale Rider of Trostad because it's some of the best art on a Magic card ever. Deal with it, motherfuckers. Um, and yeah, this is this will be our last game of the night, so we'll actually close out with the commercial. Thank you guys, everyone who's come out to join us tonight. It's super awesome of you. Um, to me, this is the uh, implication that modern is something we should pursue further. And oh, do, do you guys? Do you guys like modern? Do you guys Wait, like modern? The numbers are showing that modern is good. People so. like modern now that there's no more modern pro. We'll be the new modern pro tour. Yes, we're the new pro. <laughs> hey, look at me. I am the pro tour now. All right, we can but. award uh, ten dollars. <laughs> you get ten dollar appearance fee. <laughs> there is there is no appearance fees. We do not pay for room and board. And a ten dollar grand prize. <laughs> but if um if Patrick Chapin showed up, he would be allowed to stream with us. Yes, but he can't because he was an ecstasy dealer. Whoa, shots fired at Patrick Chapin. <laughs> um, it, 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 I guess that, that would affect The Jackal, a, thank you so much for following. Yeah, he was Welcome, the Jackal for Goddamn Table. That is a Richard Gere, Bruce Willis movie. Where are you guys from? We are, we are in Canada. We are in Kanata. Kanata da da. Upper, are you a boot? See what I did there? Yeah. Yeah, because we're Canadian. Yeah, it looks like, I don't looks want to like talk about this. <laughs> so they're, they're both looking for, well, no, Bryn's looking for an explosive degenerate hand, and Travis it looks is looking like he has no lands again. In his hand. <laughs> he... I think Travis is cheating. I think Travis is cheating. Travis just has the cuts of a ninja. Travis does have deep cuts. Not not on his midsection or his torso or his physique, though. He's he's soft and jellyish like a graham cracker. Um, Clarity GGTV, I actually have, uh, as I've, you know, we follow you on Twitter, I've seen your accolades with magic, and I would love. To somehow get involved playing with you, especially like, you know, we want to do we want to do more magic here. So, I'm always well, I'm always I, up to the conversation. I, I, th I think I heard a rumor from the the production team uh, for uh, playing board games here that uh, there's huge demand for a, a tiny leader. Bryn league. has. Oh no my god! god no, <laughs> nobody likes tiny leaders except for you. Uh, no one. It's just because I always win because no one can withstand the awesome lethality of the Hulk. Of the deck that you have not won with yet. Is this uh, the nope, I, I, I beat you. He, he beat my even shittier <laughs> Thassa Mill tiny leader deck. Yeah. Thassa Mill. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. 
And I think I beat Bryn once and he, oh no, I beat Flanders. Yes. Flanders was playing Kithian. He's on five. Mono white Ooh, He's got a land and, and, a, and, a, and he's, a, got, he's got land and spells. He's going to keep that. And a land or elf. Yeah. Yeah. He's, got, he's got lands and spells. He's scrying one. On top is an Okina Temple of the Grandfather. The, he has one in hand, doesn't he? No, he has oh, a Razor Bridge Thicket in yeah. hand. So I have an Elish Mystic? So he can cast a three drop next turn. Um, or he can just pump out like four elves. Because he has Heritage Druid. Oh, he has Heritage Well, he doesn't have four cards no, no, in hand. No, he, he can play the rest of his hand next turn. Because he can just go uh, land, Heritage elf, Druid. Heritage Druid, tap the three, and then play uh, Visionary, draw a card. Which is probably what he's going to do. He's going to be like, yeah. Flannor Elf. Flannor Elf. Heritage Druid. Druid. His tap his, all three for three mana. He was pointing to his Okina being... Uh, Making Elvish Visionary draw a card. So does he have one mana floating still? So he, he could does. draw... There. And, and he <laughs> got a mistake. Yeah. Like, just, just what I thought. But that's the thing. Like, he needs... Now that he has like board, he needs a payoff card. He needs a Azuri or a Mirror Entity. Or um, an Elvish... Um, what's the Lord? The uh, three drop Lord. That just champion. Patrick, how tall are you? Uh, I am 6'1". And what's your blood type? I don't know. Ask my mom. I guess that's exactly <laughs> my response, too. My mom knows. <laughs> they told me I was a tr they, they said I'm the cave troll. Did yeah. you agree with this, Justin? No, uh, we, we wanted you to be a uh, Grima Wormtongue. Because oh. you have that manipulative ways to get what you want. Your words? Why am I Sean? Are you saying I'm going to die? Yes. Oh. <laughs> this is... And That's it talisman appears of dominance. as a talisman of dominance, which shot up recently. Now that I imagine, uh, you know, Doctor Sword is a real thing. Oh, yeah. uh, he's just coming across for five here. Goes two fifteen, and, and then, then he's he, playing an Nettle Seven, and then he'll sell. Pass. Yeah, if he gets if he gets an Azuri here, this is uh, this is a completely different. Uh, don't tell them my banking information. <laughs> Social security and banking routing number. <laughs> Mmm, yes. <laughs> you know what, Claire GTTV? It's on. I'm ready to lose money in a money draft. I'm ready to lose money. Mo uh, most, most men draft teams for a professional sports team. We draft removal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, like, when I'm at work and I hear guys talking about, like, their draft. Ooh, that Elvish Arc Druid. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. All, okay. all LT control get plus one, plus one. And uh, Elvish Archdruid taps to add one green mana to his mana he pool for packing. every... He's going to path to exile the... the Elvish Fisher. Yeah, he's going to take six here. Uh, Darth Watson, thank you so much for the follow. We really appreciate it. Welcome to the goddamn table. It's a pleasure to have you. Yeah, so Bryn still needs a payoff card. He needs a lord. He needs a... Is and there any... take there? A renegade six. six. Thank you, guys. And although it looks like he's just going to beat him to death with dorks. Although, Travis can untap here, play a land, and then cast... um. Supreme Verdict, Wrath of God, Damnation, and, just, and blow Bryn out of the water. It, it'll be done. Like, it, he won't win. Looks like Travis just cast a Thirst for Knowledge. Discarding Gifts Land. Um, oh, if he plays an Elish Nord here? If he Unburial Rites an Elish Nord? Oh, no, can't. no, he discarded the Gifts. Um, it looks like he has a bunch of land and a path. Yeah, so he's, like, he, Bryn is still he's pressuring him with his 1-1s, one -ones, which is kind of ridiculous. That's that is a real thing. That like like the best thing that Bryn can draw right now gonna is a Coco. First. If he drew a Coco, he'd be in really good shape. That's a scoop from Travis. So. Scooping it up. What Travis needs to do is he needs to um, thirst for knowledge and then discard an Elish Norn and a Unburial Rites and then untap and flash back the Unburial Rites and just wipe Bryn's board with the Elish Norn negative two negative two status um, passive debuff. Uh, thank you for your kind words, Claire to GT, GGTV. Uh, says, oh, I say it too fast. And, uh, I, you know, Magic Online is not the prettiest thing to look at. And, oh. and we're very, we like to play in person on this channel, so that's why we like to do these, this paper magic. Um, my zodiac sign is Gemini because I consumed my twin at birth. Mm. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're also a Gemini. Yeah. What about you? What's your zodiac sign? I'm, I'm a Capricorn. Nice. Uh, Britain's showing, it looks like he's putting in a Chameleon Colossus, and what else did we see? I have no idea. What? Uh, is there another <laughs> chair here, Patrick? Or are we just... Uh, is it upsetting people? Yeah, I just wonder if there's a chair. Oh, yeah, I'll find you a chair. Yeah, there's a million outside. Yeah. Is it upsetting? You two Y'all these over to see. Gemini, too? Gemini's like, Gemini is my... I, I may be a bit biased, but Gemini's my favorite here. I hate Y'all, y'all the soft off. Can't have that. And also, um... Thank you guys for your guys' kind words. So... This is what makes us want to stream more and more, so thank you. He sided in, uh, 
Engineer Explosives, Maelstrom Pulse, uh, Supreme Verdict, Supreme Verdict, and Damnation. Uh, Hilarious Rider is also a Capricorn. Ooh. So we have Capricorns in the house. In yes. Gemini. Yes, fish goats. Fish goats. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. what a Capricorn is. Oh! Um, I gotta get this on the screen. I had a really good idea. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put my sunglasses on for this. I'm about to get blown I up. thought of a really good EDH deck, and maybe um, you should build it, Judgy. Okay. It's gonna. It's called um, Savage Bleedings. Okay. And you just play Springjack. Oh, <laughs> you, you play uh, Springjack Pasture. What's the Eventide one that chromas to make a go one one goats equal to, or either um, zero one goats equal to your white chroma? Oh, pasture. <sighs> anyway, the point is. Oh God, what was it? There was another card that I was using to buff it. You would play like Eldrazi Monuments, but you would use <laughs> Springjack Pastor and um, Eldrazi Monument and, and beat people to death. Oh, Savage Beating. You use Savage Beating with goats to have Savage Bleedings. <laughs> That's what it is. So you'd have all these um, goats and you'd play Adaptive Automaton and name Goat for, for your goat tribal lord. And you would, uh, and then you would entwine Savage Beating to have Double Strike, Double Combat Phase Goats. Uh -huh. uh, Travis has also said this is his first time playing Gifts, so he apologizes because he's no he's not playing the deck to the full potential. Yeah. You know. That uh, a lot of these uh, these new uh, Esper builds and these blue white and blue black builds coming out from the, the Sword Thopter package, they are not easy decks to pilot. Yeah. And there is a lot of honing that still needs to be done before I think they will they will rise to prominence, but right now it's it's hard to be like, this is the best deck in the format. Bryn plays a Nettle Sentinel, which is a two mana, two or one mana, two, two elf. It has a clause. It does not untap unless its controller pays a green, uh, plays a green spell. No. But it's kind of like a non-drawback because they always play a spell yes. in the elf deck. So it doesn't matter. He drew a Nykthos. He has a Cavern. Souls. Probably, elf. Naming elves. Probably naming elves. Probably naming elf. He might name Changeling. Yeah. You know, for a Chameleon Colossus. Although it is, it, 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 it is an elf. It is an elf. <laughs> Drags out a visionary and untaps, and he's going to draw a card. He draws Okina, Temple of Grand Thunders. He doesn't want to be drawing lands, right? Although he doesn't have any mana dorks on the table right now. He's got two Cocos. He's hand. got two Cocos, so... But, uh, oh god, but that's kind of he's bad. Got, no, no, he's got two Cocos in a cord. That's kind of bad for Travis, though, because I think when, it, as the Esper control deck, you don't bring in more counter spells to stop mm -hmm. their... Cocos, like you no, can't, he, you don't have room for it. He brought in three rats, though. Yeah, yeah, of course. So you can you can follow up a Coco, mm -hmm. which is what what you might have to do, like take your lickings and then blow them out. Travis took one off his. Fetch. Well, and that's and that's how Bryn won the first game. Is uh, he just beat him to death with one ones and two twos? Like this is true. And Bryn also didn't mulligan down to like five in this game. Yeah. Bryn Bryn kept a hand that had. A lot of the the bigger spells that he wanted in, in the first. Uh, game. Travis uh, versus Tim arm wrestling. Uh, Tim would rip Travis's girly little sissy arm out of its socket and beat him to death with the wet end. <laughs> I, I agree with this. Travis weighs. No offense to Travis. I love the guy. He's great. You know, but he's a little. Bottom. You know, when you say I love someone and then your voice goes high pitched. <laughs> <laughs> that's just patronizing as hell. That's all that is. Um, you know, he's. He is not an apex predator like me or Tim. <laughs> uh, he's not the apex. He's not. He's not the upper echelon. Can he swing in there? Something he wouldn't have played high with a song. No, no. He just. He did, yes. Okay. He attacked with Nettle Sentinel and then cast Heritage Rune and untapped it. Oh, Rocky. Is the reason he did not attack with the Vision? He's a Rocky Balboa. Um, so that he can activate the Heritage Druid and cast Coco on. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes tons of sense. Okay, cool. He wants so, to, so, to cast Coco So he can, he can Coco and Cord. If he wanted to. Um, like yes, hypothetically. Technically. So what he's going to do is he's going to wait for... He's probably going to do it in response to this uh, thirst. Or not. I don't know why no, he this is it. still end of his turn. This yeah, he would still just do it in response to the thirst. Because if you let him untap, then you can give him... Uh, what? He drew Thopter Sword Talisman. So he's got, he drew the combo. Yeah. Plus a talisman. But it's awkward because you can't... Oh no, that's, that's not the sword. That's is it not the sword? It's a talisman... Uh, it's Talisman uh, Foundry. Foundry something. See, like, I think you do... I think you do Coco here, though. Is that Ghostly Prison? It might be Ghostly Prison. He's got a hollow That seems really good uh, Ghostly, Pri Ghostly Prison is very good against elves. Yeah, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure I like that from Grin. 
maybe he's afraid of like a supreme verdict effect. I think I think he he's he's gonna try to jam a Coco into this. It turn. was a ghost quarter. Mm. Oh, okay. It was a ghost quarter. Like Bryn, the only thing Bryn cares about in this matchup is Wraths. He doesn't care about counter magic because he has Cavern of Soul, so that really doesn't matter. It does because he's he's gonna counter his Coco, and the Coco is how he's gonna outvalue him. Yeah, he needs those Cocos to resolve. And because he has two of them, I would, I would, I think you just jam it. Like you, like you have two. You just pressure him. You make him have it. See, but like if he would have done it on his, uh, on his end step when he was tapped out. Yeah, but it's too much of a risk if he has the wrath. He just, he, it, uh, you, so he casts his thirst. You respond. You cocoa while he's tapped out, and then he, and then while he's resolving his thirst, he's like, oh, a wrath. I'll keep that because I'm gonna untap and fucking wrath him. Uh, who would win, uh, Tim versus Patrick? I feel like. Patrick's arms are as big as my, my, my head. I feel like our, our arms are roughly the same size, but Tim are just passively that size. So, I don't know. Well, there's only a way to find out. I'll fight everyone in a street fight. Streets of rage. Um, so, we He's, had an eternal witness. Which is grabbing a <laughs> Coco, undoubtedly. Which is grabbing a Coco. Because it's the only option, so it's going to. But that's usually what Bryn grabs when he has the choice, is he grabs Coco. The, the, incident, the incidental uh, Coco into an Eternal Witness is probably one of my favorite plays when playing a Coco. And then did, uh, he, did you get the light? He swung at him for... No, he didn't swing. No? No, he left the Nettle Soul untapped so that he can Coco, but he can Corp for three. Mm. He tapped the three, the Heritage Druid, yeah. to produce three mana to cast Eternal Witness. Oh, yeah, so he's, so he's going to like Coco and Cord? No, no, so he's, he can choose between the two. Because mm -hmm. he has the cord. But so then he, he, has, either... he has four mana untapped as well. Yeah, but he can either cord for three. Yeah. Or Coco. So mm -hmm. if if Travis tries to do something, he can cord to try and find an answer. Uh, just so everybody knows, Brain currently has zero effect damage. Why is it upside down? Mm. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Judgy, we're pugilists. Ooh. Hell yeah. Any, yeah. any pugilist worth his salt knows that when someone's against the rope, that's when you give them a body shot and uppercut to the jaw. Hashtag Frank Underwood. Hashtag 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 I'm an Elvish Archdruid, which is Ooh. very important. And this is during Travis's end stuff? Right? And yeah. an Elvish Visionary to draw a card. He's getting rid of Temple Garden and some other stuff. And then some he's probably he going right to draw a card and then... Cord, find a cord. Cord. No, no. He's going to cast another Coco. Because he still has one floating. There. Three yeah. mana. Another Coco. Coco. Another Coco. And Travis yeah. is <laughs> just... Travis is done. It, uh... Yeah, he can't beat that. No. That is unfortunate on Travis's side. That was brutal. Hey, everybody. Hey. So, um, unfortunately, that's it for our stream tonight. Yeah. But the most important thing is that we see that modern is good. Modern is good to stream. You need to start playing it more. I probably won't. I probably won't, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on being good enough to talk about modern. Because mm. right? I eventually want to become a full time commentator on the channel, right? Yeah. I would be like a guy who's always here. But um, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Who've come out. Really appreciate it. Us. Um, I'm just gonna... I just hear screaming. Oh, <laughs> Travis is being murdered in the in the living room. Oh no. Um so um we stream this channel is primarily board games. As we, as you can see, it's we're playing board, board games. Board games. We stream every Tuesday. Good he's a good sell, he's a good salesman. <laughs> we stream every Tuesday, <laughs> Thursday, and Saturday board games. But every we'll Sunday we stream we stream we stream magic. That's our, our magic night. We stream uh, we stream uh, different formats. Tonight we actually started with Innistrad. We did an Innistrad draft that was tons of fun. And then we ended it with Modern. So Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Saturday, starting at 7.30 p.m. Mountain <laughs> Standard Time, we uh, stream board games. And every Sunday, once again, we stream... Um, uh, we stream Magic the Gathering. And we love doing it. Yeah, baby. What are they doing in there? Are they, are they playing another game? Are they? Are they playing another game? Uh, Travis is just rolling dice and winning. He's just winning every time. Look at him go. I roll dice, I win. <laughs> That's okay, I'm sure they won't mind if I am the stream, so right. I am going to do it. Um, looks like we got a follow, I'm just going to wait to see if it pops up. Uh, uh, Balak LOL. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. Balak. We really appreciate the follow. Bail. Welcome to uh, the, goddamn. the goddamn table. God, the, 
You must have Canada. This uh, is true. Let's. We're gonna go stream. We're gonna go raid Rantus. We'll do that. Go play some Dungeons and Dragons. That'd be great. When we do raids, we put on our Mongol hats before we sign off. Yeah. <laughs> I get running, a little bit yeah. Genghis Khan. Running, Don't want running. you to get it on because nobody has to. Yeah, I think we will. I'm just gonna make sure I have the right channel over here. Nope, I don't know. Did you kind of not play many? I think they are playing another game, but uh, we're, we have to call it because... Uh, I've got to be up for work at 5.15 in the goddamn morning. Yeah, that sucks, man. So, apparently I would rip your arm off and beat your Superman face with it. Hilarious is just copying the chirp that I... Get your own <laughs> chirp, <laughs> Hilarious Rider. Uh, so, I'm suing you, okay, the Dane Cook of chat chirp. Thank you guys <laughs> stealing so my much material. for coming out and joining us tonight. Uh, um, we're going to run a small little tiny commercial. Uh, only stay for it if you want to. If you don't want to stay for it, that's totally okay. But you kind of get a gist of our Patreon, which we have to help make our stream better, which actually also brings us more magic. In addition... They're going to um, be way too big on your face. There's what? also a little, uh, little roll at face. the end of all no, of our uh, funniest little oh. bits. Yeah. Look, at, look at how they look at my yeah. face. You guys all freaking rule. You guys have a great night. Near as well. We're going to be back Tuesday. Not uh, um, Tuesday for some board games. You guys have a good one. We love you guys. And as always, GG's. Welcome to Playing Board Games. Hello, I'm Justin from Playing Board Games, and I'm here to talk to you about our Patreon page. We play board games on the internet. Three nights a week on Twitch. What is it? Elder Sign. Cosmic Encounter. Sushi Go. Spectre Ops. Goville. Love Letter. We even play games in tiny boxes because we don't discriminate on our channel. Why support us? What your money does is it gets us more games to play on our channel and more equipment to make our quality better. More equipment, better equipment, more games, better games. Basically, you help us make a better stream for you to watch. And this is all about you guys. We have a variety of pledge levels that uh, impact both the streams themselves and the chat that you can be involved with, so why don't we talk about those pledge levels right now. If you donate $1 a month, you will get ch uh, special chat-only commands for Patreon subscribers. If you give us $5 a month, we'll send you a care package uh, that's consisting of stickers, magnets, posters, and more. Decorate a game box. Decorate your game shelf. Decorate your cat. Put it up your local game shop, at your mom's house, above your bed, whatever, we don't judge. Do you want to be greeted by Cthulhu himself? Well, $10 a month, we'll get you that. Every time you come into our chat and start talking, Cthulhu will personally greet you himself. You say hello and Cthulhu bot will probably say something like, I'm not worthy, you're so much cooler than I am, insert username here. If you donate $25 to us to show how much we appreciate the support, we will film you a personalized thank you video because you're just that freaking awesome. In addition, you'll get to choose a game in our, in our collection for us to play No Questions Asked. It's, even if that question is, is it Munchkin? Because we technically own Munchkin and we play it if you want us to, but, you know, hell. $50 a month will get you to suggest to us a game for us to play that's not even in our collection. It could be Cthulhu Wars, Agricola, Terra Mystica, Dinosauropoly. Yes, that probably exists. No Questions Asked. Unless, of course, that question is, is the game out of print? If you donate $75 a month, that's insane, first off, thank you. Second off, you will get a whole stream all about you. We'll be in contact with you, you'll organize what games we play, you'll organize who is going to be on there. To what we drink, how many we drink. Just because it's so awesome of you to do that, and we'll make sure that's a stream for you to remember, because holy hell, you're awesome. At $100, not only will we be so grateful for you donating that money to us, which is awesome, we will have you on stream, however we do that possible. Is it Google Hangouts? Is it by phone? Telegram? Whatever, for how far away you are, the time constraints that are there, we will make it work. So, that's pretty exciting. I'd say so, because then you don't have to know how this room smells. Spoiler alert, disgusting. One thing that I should also say is that every level that you donate to uh, includes the levels below it. So if you donated $10, you would get the $5 and the $1 reward. So 
If you can, support us. If you can't, that's okay. We play the hell out of board games, and we love making an environment that you guys can watch and laugh along with us as we go through the chaos and turmoil that comes out of pushing little wooden chits around and rolling dice. What's everyone going as for Halloween? Good? Alright, good. <laughs> <laughs> everyone open your eyes. A Lord Servant of Arthur! <laughs> I just lift my legs up in the air. So you're just, I'm just like, you can't go to the toilet like, like this. That's my life. How power. A baby relationship. A baby shit <laughs> No. so much for watching this video and even if you don't support our patreon check out our twitch and even if you don't thank you for being you because you rule